I'm Asia. Hi, I'm Katie Bueller. I'm a midwife. Oh, or... yeah, me too. <laughs> and we're going to do a little uh, quick question and answer from Google today. Yeah. So, uh, what's it called? Autocomplete. Autocomplete. We're going to answer your most pressing autocomplete questions about midwives today. For midwives. Two for midwives. Mi for midwives. Two. Well, there's only two of us. There is. Yeah. For now. Yeah. All right. So, let's get to the first one. You go first. Can a midwife... Insert an IUD. What's an IUD? <laughs> Intrauterine device. Device that blocks sperm. Asia, would you put an IUD in? Yeah. Would you? Yeah. I don't know how yet, but I hear it's very easy, and most midwives can do it. It's just... Like, our type of midwife rarely gets asked to put in an IUD, and also we don't have prescriptive authority to get them for you. But um, but I hear that inserting them is actually as simple as <laughs> <laughs> taking a pap is. Yes. Yeah. So, IUD. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Thanks, Obama. Yes, you can. <laughs> oh, loud. Can a midwife become an OB? Why would a midwife want to be an OB? <laughs> That's how I feel about that. Just kidding. Can I become a midwife? Can I be can I become a midwife? Yes, you can become a midwife. If we can do it, you can do it. <laughs> if Asia can do it. <laughs> it took me six anybody. years. Six but, years. Yeah. Six years and didn't you have to have like ten babies or something? I didn't have 10 babies, oh. but no. <laughs> it was a lot more than that. It was a lot. Yeah, you have to attend, like, at, at least 30, 30 births to become a licensed midwife, but most of us, um, to become a midwife, attended a lot more than that. So before I was licensed, I attended, like, 250 births, and then since I've been licensed, another 250. But yes, you can, you, too can become a midwife just like us. If we can do it, you can do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can a midwife do paps? Yes, we can do paps. Just We're really good. Day. Oh my God, should we tell them? What? Did I tell you? So we had a pap <laughs> last week in my office and this woman, you know, as many women do, told me that she had had her last pap had been so very painful. Mm -hmm. And so we gave her the speculum, which is mm -hmm. the plastic thing that you put in to be able to visualize the cervix. and Or metal. Or metal. She put it in herself, mm -hmm. and she had no pain. Yeah. Even like the twisting the little, the little brush, she yeah. hardly felt. It's amazing. Paps with a midwife are revolutionary. Yeah. Everybody says that yeah. was the best pap I've ever had. I mean, why... Why wouldn't you? Why, why would you need a doctor to put that piece of speculum in for you? Like, right. You can do it yourself. Even if you don't hire a midwife, you should be allowed to put the speculum in for yourself. Absolutely. You so you know how option. fast or slow you need to go. Mm -hmm. You know how fast or slow you need it to go. That's right. Mm -hmm. brown, brown, brown. <laughs> That's in another episode. <laughs> can you get an epidural with a midwife? No. <laughs> Absolutely not! No. We don't allow it. We don't do epidurals. No. We make you, like, even if it takes you, like, ten days to get your baby out, you are not allowed to have an epidural. <laughs> and if you want one, you can go to the hospital, and we'll gladly support you. Yes. But you just can't have one at home or at a birth center. No, that's true. That's true. Even the birth center and the hospital, you can't have an epidural. No. Nope. So, yes. I mean, we do something like one in ten first-time moms chooses to go to the hospital for an epidural because they mm -hmm. have a long labor and they need some relief. So, yes, you can have an epidural. Yeah, we and just, we'll let you. We'll let you. <laughs> People think we won't let you, but we'll let you. We will allow it. We will let you. We will allow it. <laughs> you know, that's a whole other video, talking about the medical terminology of, like, we will let you do this and that. You know it's your body, right? Yes. You know that they, like, don't get to let you do anything, that the whole, the whole bit... Exactly. It's, you have body sovereignty. It's all yours. Yes. Oh, there are no requirements. Asia, can a man be a man-wife? A man-wife. 
a mid a mid dude. Yes. Yes. <laughs> there are male midwives. Why um, are they called mid dudes? Because we are not the wife. We are with the wife. That's what midwife we are not means. The wife. Midwife means we might with be a wife. wife. But we, we are not the wife. We are with the wife. Your wife. So and wife literally comes from the German word like wife. Wiff. 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 <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. Wiff. No, it is wiff, isn't it? I don't it's know. It's not wife. It's wiff. I don't know either. Frau. It's frau. Frau. Can a man be a midwife? Yes, you can. Just be a gentle one. Yes. We know some really good, actually, um, male midwives. Do we? Uh-huh. There's a couple here in San Diego who are pretty, pretty great. Really uh, respectful. Same thing, you know, you'd expect from a midwife. They ask before they touch. They're very gentle, and they let you be the decision maker. I mean, that's the key to midwifery: is you and not us are the driver of the ship. Absolutely, as you should be. The captain of your sea. Oh. What does it say? Can you oh. have <laughs> a midwife and an OB? Ooh. Asia, why would anyone want both? Well, sometimes their insurance pays for some of their diagnostic testing in a clinical setting with an obstetrician. And sometimes they like to have that co-care. Backup? Yeah. Right? And every woman deserves a midwife. So every person who has a uterus who is going to have a baby deserves a midwife. So it's another way of saying it, it's not, it shouldn't be a luxury. So the idea is like, even if you were high risk, right? So you've got some kind of high risk condition. You see the OB for the risk part and to make sure that the risk is well managed, but you get an, a midwife for the care and the guidance and the sense that you have someone with you for this like monumental and super cool experience. And our clients, yes, we call them clients, not patients. Our clients actually most of them don't ever go to an obstetrician for their entire pregnancy. Right. Some people True. are really surprised to learn that. True. Yeah. It's a totally different model, though. Like, if something arises and they need to see a doctor, then happily refer them to a physician. What else? What else? That's it. Okay. Well, then, thanks for tuning in. That was a nice quickie. Quickie. And uh, you guys can put your comments in the in the comments below ask your questions put them in the suggestion box below <laughs> you can put them in our box her box <laughs> <laughs> so, subscribe to our channel because that's what you do on youtube to make us popular and help us advance uh, midwifery for all people Spread because the word. midwifery is truly um, a care model that changes lives makes people feel so good about their experiences, about their birthing, about their care choices. People love the care they receive from us. We're here for you. We're here to answer your questions. And uh, thanks for inviting us in for a, a little treat. Thanks for watching. Bye.